Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's Monday morning, and uh, we got election day coming up here. And while you're sifting through your mailbox, as I have been, trying to find the pertinent, relevant mail mixed in with these uh, 20 to 30 flyers, some of them the size of my kitchen table have been arriving, telling me to vote for some gun-grabbing, uh, abortion pushing uh, guy that won the lottery or you know trying to trick me into voting to some sex ed promoting uh, open border radical environmentalist I mean it's just ridiculous folks but the bigger issue that we face right now it's not what is showing up in our mailbox. It's not what they're talking on t talking about on TV, folks. It's not what they're talking about on the sports commentaries. It's not what you're hearing about when you're listening to the, the talking heads that are owned lock, stock, and barrel by the system, whether it's Glenn Beck or Rush Limbaugh or uh, Mark Levin or uh, George Norrie. You know, any of these... Uh, Anybody that's on a Clear Channel station or a Fox station or an NBC or an ABC or CBS affiliate or NPR, look, folks, they got to stay inside the box. They can't talk about what's going on, okay? They're shills, and they shill for the people that are trying to enslave and kill us. That's right. Now, everywhere you go, everywhere you drive around, you're going to see these new black cables hanging from the lower portions of these telephone poles, folks. They're putting in the backbone right now for the 5G. That's right. They're laying conduit all over the place and they're hanging these cables. All right. That's what's going on, ladies and gentlemen. They're getting the infrastructure in place to put in the millimeter wave systems outside your homes. I just want to make sure you're all getting the notifications because it seems to be a, a problem still. And for those of you who are just tuning in, it's really important that you, uh, sub you're, you're subscribed, and if not, get people to subscribe to this channel because you're going to hear things here you're not going to hear anyplace else. You need to click on that little bell. If you go to my YouTube channel, go up on the right-hand corner, there's a little bell. You right-click on that and make sure that it has parentheses around the bell. That indicates that you'll be notified when I go on live or I upload something. They're putting in a fiber optic network all over the place folks millions of miles of fiber optic connectivity and the endpoint connection is going to be a weapon folks the endpoint connection of all this fiber optic connectivity is going to be weaponry designed to slow kill us and to surveil us now there's another component of this grid they're setting up and I've talked about this before you have to have a receiver that picks it up from outside and then rebroadcasts it in your house this is going to be called a Y gig wireless network for your home. The Y gig wireless network for your home is going to be broadcasting the signal at a frequency of 60 gigahertz. Now, that is a frequency that the worldwide authorities have determined that you do not need a license to broadcast on. What does that mean? That means that these devices that broadcast at 60 gigahertz do not need to have a radio license to transmit. That virtually ensures that every single device known to man will be using this frequency. Now, 
that frequency is extremely significant because it is the frequency that the oxygen molecules absorb the radiation at and it affects the oxygen molecules folks now currently if you turn on your Wi-Fi not Y gig if you turn on the Wi-Fi enabled device in your home it's going to be transmitting at 2.4 gigahertz that is another unlicensed frequency by the authorities that made sure that anybody can broadcast at that frequency and that made sure that the entire world was blanketed by these emissions with these devices that emit at that frequency and that frequency happens to be the frequency the exact frequency at which the maximum dielectric loss of water begins so they've chosen the current Wi-Fi signals to broadcast at a frequency that makes the water molecules vibrate oscillate rotate or whatever and then they've chosen the new Y gig that's coming to operate on a frequency that the oxygen molecules absorb at ladies and gentlemen does that concern you does that concern you it should concern you folks because the current Wi-Fi systems are in place right now and they've been deployed and proliferated in such a fashion that everybody's addicted to them and they can't live without them virtually ensuring complete blanket exposure of these frequencies and these radio frequency emissions and what the problem is with the current Wi-Fi is that the devices that use them that use Wi-Fi have these antennas like the iPads at the base of the device and the kids keep these in their laps and from my research I have determined that this is a sterilization agenda because I found scientific studies that were conducted that clearly show ovarian reserve decrease in rats from modest amounts of radio frequency exposure at these frequencies and at these power levels for just 15 minutes a day for 15 days and in some cases up to 75 percent reduction in the ovarian reserves of rats 15 minutes a day for two weeks folks and the rats eggs disappeared by almost 75 percent and we've got these little girls in school using iPads and laptops and tablets and Kindles and Nooks or whatever you call these things that are eating up their eyes at the same time. Well, that's the current weapons deployment, folks, because they want to make sure that the children can't have kids someday. They want the population down, and that is why they're doing what they're doing. But that's not enough, folks. You see, they have another problem. See, they can, they can burn up all the eggs in the little kids and the teenagers because if they can give these kids enough... Um, Britney Spears and uh, Starbucks Frappuccinos and fast food and uh, what's the name of those Kardashians and their purse collections and the Victoria's Secret lotions those kids those kids would still be playing blackjack on the Titanic even though the icebergs were hitting them upside the head as they went below the waterline I mean that's just how far gone a lot of these kids are but they got a big problem folks <laughs> the big problem is you and I <laughs> Us, the grown-ups, you know, the people that have money and guns and brains. Yeah, us. And those of us who have a desire to live and survive and not be euthanized by a bunch of psychotic, satanic technocrats, because that's what they are. They think they can get away with this, folks. So they're coming out with this new wireless network, and they admit that the phones for 5G aren't even going to be ready for two more years, but they're putting it in. Why? Why? And now they're talking about how they can't get these processors to work because they overheat. You see, 5G is not a... Uh, it's not feasible for mobile devices, folks. It's not. It's being sold to us as if it were. But there isn't a 5G phone on the market, folks. And there isn't a 5G mo phone that's going to make it to the market anytime soon. Because that thing will thing will pretty much spontaneously combust because they can't get those processors to run cool enough. That's right. So what's going on with this 5G, folks? Why is this all we hear about? Why is Trump pushing 5G? Why do we, oh, we gotta get this done, why? What's going on? Well, it's a kill grid, folks. But here's the deal. It doesn't have to be on your property. 
and it doesn't have to be in your home. You see, you don't have to bring in one of these Y gig devices into your house that broadcasts at the oxygen molecule frequency, all right? You don't have to do this. This is entirely your choice. This is voluntary compliance inside your home. Now, these, uh, these millimeter waves, they don't penetrate the houses very well. They don't go through trees. They hate trees. Did you notice why they're cutting them all down and they're making sure that uh, the only thing between you and the light pole is your window now? Have you noticed that? Have you noticed how they're trimming back all the trees and cutting all these trees down? Has that occurred to you? That there's an agenda going on here with the trees, folks? Do you know what happens when certain frequencies coming out of these systems hit the oxygen molecules? Yeah, I'll tell you what happens, folks. I'll give you a really simple explanation. Your body can't uptake the oxygen in the air because it's affected. These millimeter waves affect the air, okay? They affect the oxygen molecules in such a way that your body cannot bind and transmit the, the oxygen to your cells. Now, that's just one little trinket here, folks. So they want you all living in a compact city where they cut all the trees down and put concrete and metal and steel everywhere that bounces these signals around. They want you living inside an apartment that's hermetically sealed with Tyvek wrap behind the wall with a metallic coating on it reflecting all the microwaves and millimeter waves back and forth inside the house while your neighbors got devices behind each wall and underneath your floor and, and on top of your ceiling. You're literally stacked on top of each other in resonant cavities it's with weaponry behind every wall that's the plan and then they've got you in there and then the heater's sucking all the oxygen out of the room and burning it up as it combusts with the natural gas or the oil burner whatever you got going in your house and then you're breathing up the oxygen and exhaling carbon dioxide and the windows are all sealed shut and then you got a y gig system in your house running your netflix porn taking the, what's left of the oxygen in that home and, and making morphological and electromagnetic changes to those oxygen molecules so your body your body's hemoglobin can't bind to it and transport it and get it to the cells and so you know it's a slow brain death you know slow oxygen deprivation it's like full belly starvation you know like you have someone that, that hasn't eaten for six months and then you feed them food well they can't eat can't, they can't process the food. Well, the millimeter wave matrix that's coming has a couple of ways to protect yourself, folks. There are ways to provide shielding in your home against these waves. You can make paint with certain powders, and there's not a lot of information out there about these powders, but you need wave absorbing properties in the powder. And they're not releasing the information on how to do this. There's one article on the internet that talks about a Japanese study on wave of millimeter wave absorbing powders and wave absorbing paint. You would think this stuff would be at the hardware store by now. But you see folks, they want the poison everywhere. They want the poison everywhere. Now, you may not be able to figure out how to make this paint, but God has called trees ladies and gentlemen lots of them trees block this this weapon this grid trees block the millimeter waves ladies and gentlemen they don't penetrate the miraculous compounds in the tree leaves okay you do not bring these devices into your house by the way anything that says why gig I'm telling you we're out in front of this right now Okay, all they're doing is setting up the cables to hook up these weapons. And all they're doing is prepping you to go to the latest big box or online retailer and buy one of these things with these antennas called a Y gig home wireless network. Anything that says 60 gigahertz, you need to run like hell from, folks. You know. It's unbelievable how the prince of the power of the air, Satan, the devil, has got so many people blind as a bat 
and as dumb as a doorknob over the big threats we face. You know, the electromagnetic portals, these television sets, these digital Ouija boards, that's what they are. And make no bones about it, folks. Televisions are electronic, psychotronic weaponry. I mean, you watch one of these programs that's on right now. Oh my gosh, the light flashing, the violence, the kinky sex, all of the allure of the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is all wrapped up in a tortilla with extra cheese, uh, and it's garnished by cut up hot pockets with uh, frosting. It's unbelievable what they have managed to do to tantalize and scintillate the senses of the suckers out there that are literally living a two-dimensional existence of this Pavlovian din, din bell behavior pattern and existence. I mean, people live to eat and watch TV. It's unbelievable. And people have been trained to live to eat and watch TV. Did you know that we are supposed to be out in the sun and working the earth and having your hands touch the soil? Because did you know what happens when your hands touch the soil? Electrons are transferred from the earth to your body. Now, electrons don't get transferred to the earth from your body when you're walking around with soles, shoes with rubber soles. <laughs> they don't get transferred to your body when you're sleeping on a steel coil mattress, picking up all the Wi-Fi signals in the springs. It doesn't happen. You can't get electrons transferred from the earth when you're walking around on your synthetic compound floor that's got a rubber insulation underneath it. And you certainly can't get electrons from the earth if you're on the 22nd floor of an apartment building with these smart TVs all over the place. But what you are getting is you're getting radio frequency radiation wrecking all your mitochondria, messing up all of your biological processes and your built-in biological clocks. See, that's what they've got set up, folks, is these kill towers. That's right. You think it's all neat to have this chic pad with remote control everything that's got this killer view of all the LED lights and all the slaves below, huh? That's the model. They want you living in one of these kill towers because you can never come in contact with the earth. Now, I want to tell you something. I'm going to share a little secret with you, ladies and gentlemen. And I want you to understand this. This is a key component of something that needs to be discussed in our survival. Have you ever read dog food ingredients? Well, I have, because when I was a young child, I used to like to eat dog biscuits, okay? Because they were crunchy and they tasted really neat. And when I was little, the neighbors had these dogs and I would bite a, bite a piece of it and I'd feed the rest of it to the dog. And it was kind of a, a way to really get down to the level of this dog and relate to it. And dogs are cool. But you know what dogs don't do, ladies and gentlemen? Dogs don't wear shoes. That's right. Dogs are constantly in contact with the magnetic field of the earth and the electron transfer of the earth to living things. Now, the reason I ask if you've ever read the ingredients of dog food is that you will see that you're crazy if you eat dog food now. And to be honest with you, all these dogs should be getting cancer by the time they're about two years old considering what they're being fed. So how is it that the dogs are healthier than most people, ladies and gentlemen? I submit to you it is because of the grounding the electron transfer between the earth and these animals feet now those of you who walk your dogs on a steel leash and you're making contact with the metal of that leash that dog is transferring electrons to you this is extremely important your dog will get cancer if you live in an apartment and the dog never has a chance to have his paws in the soil in a direct contact with the earth. High-rise pet living is a hellhole for animals. They have a poor outcome. Dogs that have access to the ground to dig, to walk, they do pretty well, even if you feed them a bunch of tumors. 
all the food in the dog food is a bunch of cancer uh, cancer tumors and, and, and diseased animal parts they don't feed the good part of the, the cows and the pigs and the chickens to the dogs folks you know when you got tumors the size of basketballs on these cattle that are living on these glyphosate feed farms where they're knee deep in excrement in these uh, these waiting pools where they spend half their existence in, in, in prophylactic antibiotics and RBST and in all the weed killers and, and insecticides and fungicides and cyanide compounds and glyphosate all the stuff that everything's treated with as these animals are fed well the bad parts of these animals like the tumors and the and the livers and stuff that all goes to the dog food these dogs should be dropping dead folks but they're not they're actually surviving the onslaught of the toxic uh, assailant uh, uh, program by the pet food industry and it's because they're grounding so everybody listening to the sound of my voice you need to understand something you need to go barefoot on the grass you need to have some time every single day and you know if you got a swimming pool spend some time in the swimming pool you need to have electrons transferred to you from the earth you need that energy folks I'm not gonna get into the lies of the source of electrons that we've been taught from the chemistry and the physics all this theoretical stuff is designed to get you looking the other way now they've got everybody sleeping on antenna farms in their mattresses there's they got everybody walking around with rubber soles on their feet they got everybody driving around in cars with rubber tires they've basically separated you from the electromagnetic field of the earth that God has created and now they've got you separating yourself from the electromagnetic life-giving radiation from the Sun through your eyes and I will tell you something ladies and gentlemen you need to learn how to get back into contact with the with the God-given dirt and the soil and that's why they don't want you having land folks but you've got a garden you've got to go barefoot go barefoot anywhere you can around your house even if it's on the concrete I'm not saying to go barefoot on the Las Vegas Strip ladies and gentlemen although I know a girl who does that <laughs> after about 20 gin and tonics she's out there walking around barefoot when it's 120 degrees I'm not talking about that kind of grounding that's insanity folks but what I am talking about is common sense you ever notice how it feels good to dig in the garden and work in the yard because it does something to you folks it is it is a transfer of electrons from the earth your body craves food because it needs to get electrons from the metabolic process involved in the the oxidation of carbohydrates and fats you can also get electrons from just being in contact with the earth ladies and gentlemen now how does all this tie into protecting yourself from 5g well because first of all when you have become aware of what they've tried to detach you from and you reconnect with it your eyes open and you will be more prone to have your own discernment without having to be told what to do and everybody likes to plant trees everybody likes to plant a garden and children have it built into their brains to garden and, and, and raise animals and have pets and so you need to plant as many trees as you can between you and those poles that's right now millimeter waves are going to be coming from all over the place outside millimeter waves have the ability to render you brain damaged and paralyzed and hearing voices and forgetting things because those experiments have been run in the Cuban Embassy and in the uh, over in China with our State Department workers they've been testing this stuff for a long time they've also run tests at a couple of schools in the United States and had great results of having ch children get paralyzed and uh, having people collapse and having people have all these bizarre symptoms of a mystery illness they keep talking about these mystery illnesses well they're electromagnetic folks now sheet metal is a great way to block just about all this stuff okay I'm not saying to go live in a Faraday cage but if you can build one more power to you right now a good way to block the cell phone signals is any type of wire mesh like aluminum screen you could double that up on your walls you can make sure you have aluminum screens in your windows 
And the uh, UV blocking low E film on the windows is really good at blocking millimeter waves. That's a product that's very effective at reflecting that stuff back. You know those space blankets, those shiny things, that blocks millimeter waves. And there's certain types of millimeter wave absorbing powders that you could mix in with paint and you could paint your walls with this stuff. Okay? The government wants you wearing rubber shoes and sunglasses, watching pornography, eating Hot Pockets, drinking Jägermeister, uh, smoking pot, popping oxys, cheating on your wife, hitting the massage parlors, you know, picking out on pizza and ice cream, and watching mindless bullshit on the television as they suck your soul to hell and cram you into a prison called an apartment building. Get out! If you're in an apartment in the city, get out. Try to get out to the country and rent yourself a house with some land. Go out there where they can't put the weaponry everywhere because the city is going to be a slam dunk for the kill grid, folks. I mean, it's a piece of cake. They got everybody boxed in and it's no problem to put these, these antennas every 100 feet because people are going to say, oh, great, look at my signal. And like I said, folks, they don't have the 5G phones yet. What does that tell you? They're years away. These 5G phones are years away, ladies and gentlemen. They're not ready. They're not here yet. We are ahead of the curve right now, folks. We're ahead of the game because they haven't put the weaponry in. Now, you need to make sure you don't let these people on your property when they try to install this stuff. What you need to do is uh, tell them you're not coming on my property, you're trespassing, you're all out of my yard, get out of here, I'm calling the police, lock the, uh, lock, lock the gate, lock the yard, don't let them in. You need to get rid of your smart meter on your house too. That's going to tie into this whole thing. Now they've got smart meters for the water and electricity and the gas. Get rid of them. I want to warn some of you against using your electrical outlets as a grounding source. Because there's a lot of homes that aren't properly wired. And, and you know, if you want to slam a ground, you can take a big, big old uh, copper rod and pound it into the ground and then hook up to that. That's a, that's guaranteed grounding, but, you know, that, that ground outlet in your wall, unless you test it, I, I'd be careful with that. Because all it takes is one place in the house for something to be crossed, and, and you're not getting good stuff, you're getting bad stuff. And then you may end up getting the stray voltage and the uh, dirty electricity from your neighbor's solar system that's coming through the transformer. Okay. Look, folks, all this stuff is really simple. Uh, sunlight, barefoot, fresh air, good clean water. But they don't want you having that. They want you living in a giant tower, a giant apartment with no connection to the earth, no electrons coming up through the dirt, no contact with the dirt. They got you using hand sanitizer and keeping your windows all closed up with LED lights everywhere, lighting the place up like it's a full moon on steroids as you sit there with these giant TV screens blaring the blue and white light at you all night long with the Wi-Fi systems blaring you with the melatonin disrupting sleep destroying compounds as they subliminally program you with the behind the scenes satanic porn on your television set folks that's a fact ladies and gentlemen that's a fact you know growing up I used to love to run on the beach I used to love to swim, and I still love to swim. Even if the water's cold like it's getting right now, my pool's getting getting cold. It's not as pleasant as it used to be. I miss the summertime because the water's warm, but I go in there not because I totally enjoy it, but because I know I have to go in there. And if you have an in-ground gunite pool, it's especially if it's salt water, it's a great source of electrons. Okay? Now, there are certain natural fabrics that I want to talk about when it comes to protecting yourself. And I want to talk about what's so dangerous right now about all this fleece and synthetic fiber products that are on the market. If you go to the store, you're going to see all of these synthetic fibers, this fleece and this flannel. Not, I shouldn't say flannel, this fleece. All this fleece stuff, all this synthetic fiber, okay, is highly conductive, ladies and gentlemen. Highly conductive. You need to stop using all sheets and bedding materials that are anything but cotton, all right? 
you need to stop wearing clothing that is not cotton because all of these uh, rayon and polyester and fleece garments are picking up the radiation the static electricity from the cell towers and from the millimeter wave systems a really 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 good type of clothing to wear is wool folks and that's a fact there's an agenda behind the clothing. There's an agenda behind the mattresses. Did you know that these mattresses have steel coils in them? And you're sleeping on an antenna farm? A friend of mine who has since turned his back on me and has, has, has gone to great lengths to try to disrupt my activities because of my positions and my affiliations with certain people on certain geopolitical topics. But he was sleeping on a steel coil mattress with his Apple Wi-Fi access point under his mattress and he started developing blood clots and the doctors put him on thinners and you know he had no history of smoking or working at the shipyard breathing his asbestos and I asked him a couple questions and you know where the clot was and 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 I asked him what he kept in his room and he told me he kept the, the Wi-Fi thing under his mattress and, I, and it was right where he slept and he took it out and the blood clots went away I mean I really condensed this folks but the, but the Wi-Fi underneath the mattress can give you major health problems, folks. All right? That's a fact, folks. You need to get the wireless systems out of your house. And if you're going to sleep on a, if you're going to sleep on an antenna farm, you better make sure you don't have a radio station in your house. Okay? <laughs> Seriously. Seriously, ladies and gentlemen. That's a serious problem. These mattresses are a weapon if they're being used in a home that's got radio stations in it. And you got radio stations in your house. If you got a cordless phone, that's a radio station. If you've got a Wi-Fi router, that's a radio station. If there's an Xbox 360, that's a radio station. If there's a PlayStation, that's a radio station. If you've got your ring doorbell, that's a radio station. If you got wireless cameras in your house, that's a radio station. If you got wireless TVs and DVRs and cable boxes, that's a radio station. They transmit 24-7, constantly emit radio frequency signals, okay? And if you've got things in the house that pick them up, like the steel coil antenna farm you sleep on, you're going to end up with blood clots or cancer, ladies and gentlemen. That's a fact. Those things are going to happen. And you may not understand why they're happening to you. And you may not understand why you've never had any history of smoking or or lung injury or contusions to your abdomen and why you're getting blood clots in certain places but folks that's what microwaves do that's right that's what they do folks so we need to protect ourselves from 5g and the first way to do it is to be aware of what it is and be aware of what the what the devices look like they're gonna be little panels little flat things about the size of the top of a shoebox you know when you go buy a new pair of shoes and you pop the top off of that box? Well, that's about the size of a 5G antenna. And they're going to be flat and they're going to be placed facing your bedroom window on a light pole. They're not going to be that high up. Maybe 15 feet off the ground. And those are weapons, ladies and gentlemen. You can tell they're coming because the, the, the cable companies and the phone companies are laying out all this new cable along the, the part of the telephone lines. Uh, you know, they've got these black junction boxes with this nice little orange stuff next to them. That's where the 5G is going to hook in. It's coming to every your neighborhood, folks. If you live in any area that's got electricity and any area that's got telephone service and any area that's got cable service, they're putting 5G in. That's right. And so how you def defend yourself against this weaponry is, number one, you don't let them put it on your property. And number two, you find ways to block it from reaching your property. And if you have to plant a 50-foot ficus tree in front of the telephone pole, go for it. Or if you have to bring in some sort of, uh, I mean, you could get some tall poles at Home Depot and uh, put some uh, space blankets on a sheet of plywood and raise that thing up and reflect it right back at itself. If they put one of those in my yard, uh, they're going to get a, a sheet of plywood with sp space blankets nailed to it, and it's going to reflect it all right back to those things if they do it when I'm not home. See, the problem is I have neighbors that are weaponized idiots and they'll let these people come on their property and put the antenna on they're not going to come on mine but because i have neighbors that have the that share the pole with me uh they may end up putting it on their side but i don't know how i'm gonna how i'm gonna remedy that unless it's aiming my way but I, there's ways folks these space blankets will reflect it back and screw it all up the mylar window film screws it all up 
And they can't get it through your walls unless you bring in a Y gig transducer, transceiver thing to where it picks up the signal and then rebroadcast it through your house. All right? Now, there are a lot of different things that are natural, folks, that solve our problems. And I'm seeing some of the comments here about I'm wrong about cannabis. Look, folks, you know, CBD oil and all that. Look, marijuana's got good uses, all right? But I can tell you what's not a good use of marijuana, and that's those 16-year-olds in the park sucking on the bong at 7.30 in the morning with the with the, uh, the Del Taco in their ditch in school, and they're laughing and going, oh, yeah, dude, this is cool, man, as they're, as they're going to end up living under the bridge with a needle in their arm someday, folks. All right? So stop misrepresenting my statements. Marijuana is a drug and some people can't control themselves and all they want to do is smoke pot and watch TV and play video games and they become freaking losers, okay? But the THC and the CBD are two different things, people. So stop misquoting me, all right? Seriously. I'm sitting here talking about how a bunch of able-bodied young people are getting sucked into video games and cheeseburgers and bong loads, okay? So shut the hell up and stop putting words in my mouth. And all you people that want to promote this chronic to these kids, you know what? There's a special place for you to get high school kids addicted to marijuana. I see what it's doing in my community. All right? This is not your grandma's smoke, folks. A couple hits of this stuff. And you forgot everything you did right before you zipped up your freaking pants in the bathroom. All right? Can't retain anything when you smoke that stuff. It's th Why do you think the government has rolled it out and legalized it right about the same time they're rolling out this weaponry, folks? Has it occurred to you that there's something going on here? That's right. That's right. They want you smoking dope, and they want you playing video games, and they don't want you ever going outside because they want you not to notice what they just installed on the tower outside your window that's making you forget everything, that's making you an Alzheimer's patient when you're 19. That's right. That's the plan, folks. See, there's many ways to gut a fat hog, and the only way you can get the knife in its abdomen is if you sedate it or put a bullet in its head. Well, it's a lot easier to sedate everybody with remote control systems than go door to door and put a bullet in everybody's head, folks. You see, the dope that's out there is frankenweed, folks, just like the fruit that's at Costco's frankenfruit. Those apples are bigger than the grapefruits now, and the grapefruits are starting to look like basketballs. All right? And those watermelons, they're starting to look like water tanks uh, that the military has on its trucks. I grow a watermelon at my house, and it's the size of a softball. Why? Because I don't have that watermelon plant hooked up to a fertilizer drip for its entire life, so it gets laced with all these chemicals. But that's what you eat when you have one of these gigantic watermelons. It's frankenfruit, and the dope that's for sale in dispensaries is frankenweed. That's right. You want to smoke out? That's your prerogative. Even though the, the the government has left it in a position to where the feds can lock you up and the state can say it's okay, Jose. So which one is it? Is it worth it? Seriously? Anyway, uh, you know, I, I honestly think that, uh, you know, God did not genetically engineer the strains of this marijuana to be grown under, in a phototron in somebody's closet. Uh, you know, in, 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 a, in a chemical slurry of chemical fertilizers on, on spun rock wool uh, and, and all kinds of synthetic vitamins and, and, and petrochemical derivatives and water stabilizers. You guys are crazy for smoking that, that chemical concoction. You're nuts. Seriously. You know, if, it grow, if it's grown in the dirt and it's kind of like natural and it's outside in the sun, <laughs> maybe, but... Oh my gosh, you know, I go to Home Depot and it's like, they got all these chemicals now for all... I mean, it has poison, it has skull and crossbone all over the bottle. Why would you pour this on a plant you're going to smoke? <laughs> Seriously. It's the same thing with the, the fertilizer for the vegetables. Oh, for information containing the content of metals in this product, please contact this phone number. Oh, really? There's a bunch of toxic metals in the, the miracle Grow. <laughs> Good luck with that, right? I'm not going to eat those tomatoes. You put that stuff in the... If you can't eat the fertilizer, why would you eat the tomatoes that you use... 
that they grow in the garden use a fertilizer on. Come on, folks. It's all connected. They want you st stone stupid and fat, dumb, and happy while they put the weapons everywhere. So you won't raise a finger except to change the freaking channel. That's what they want. They don't want you to fight. They want you to go to church and sing a few songs and fall asleep and think about what's for lunch and, you know, go shopping and come home and watch TV all day, watch the ball game and get lulled back into sleep. And before you know it, you're back at work on Monday and you don't know what hit you because the hangover is still setting in. Right? And then you go to the store and, you know, you have to find your way. I, I Yesterday... I went to the store and uh, I got trapped behind these cartons of ice cream and I got attacked by cases of Diet Joke and, and I was trying to find my way out and I was being bombarded by all these pills and, and s nutritional supplements and, and uh, you know, it's almost like the, the, the grocery store has become a, uh, a weapons dump of sorts. I mean, have you ever been over to the weapons dump by Seal Beach? They got these bunkers with all these weapons in them. For the, from the military? Well, the grocery stores are a weapons dump, folks. That's right. The grocery store is a weapons dump because you walk in and the first thing they got is Diet Joke. That's right. A bunch of aspartame and phenylalanine and car carbonic acid, phosphoric acid, caramel coloring, sodium benzoate, artificial flavors on a BPA line can that's bringing the aluminum into solution, folks. And that's just when you walk in the door. And then you take another step, and you've got these Oreos, right, with this purple or pink or blue frosting in them. And this is the double stuff, right, folks? It's, have you ever eaten an Oreo? Do you know how long it takes to get that black dye out of your teeth after you eat an Oreo, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, yeah, and you know what that white cream filling does to your intestines? You think it sticks together real good on that Oreo? Do you know what that thing does to the villi in your intestines? Well, you wonder why you're getting acid reflux. Because your body gets one of these chemistry sets called a cookie into your stomach after it blacks up all your teeth and starts the bacteria in your mouth from... for uh, It starts the acid process in your mouth from all the sugar degradation. You know the bacteria in your mouth when, when you eat all this sugar, it turns all that stuff into acid. It takes the enamel off your teeth and stains them black. Really nice, huh? And then that Oreo gets in your stomach and your body's going, hey, what the hell is this? And so it started dumping all this hydrochloric acid. They're trying to break down something that's made out of polystyrene. Right? So I take another step. And what is there? There's Gatorade. That's right. You know, citric acid, ester of wood rose and blue lake 40, red lake 69, sodium benzoate. And if they're the really good ones, they got sucralose in there and maybe some titanium dioxide for a, and TBHQ. I mean, look, folks, and it's in a plastic bottle that's not ready. You turn the bottom over and it doesn't have a rating, right? So you're getting all the plastics and all the endocrine disruptors from the plastic leaching into that, that solution, right? And so you go a step further and before you know it, you thought you just walked into a liquor store because there's 5,000 bottles of wine staring you in the face. And there's these women standing at the wine aisle with their necks hanging down like a turkey looking at this wine in fascination going, oh, which one am I going to pickle myself with tonight? Oh my gosh, then you make a left turn and then this is the open air section where there's all this beer. And there's all this beer with foreign languages written on them and pictures of stars and suns and moons and half naked people. And you look at this stuff, folks. And then there's the men. Oh, yeah, I'm a badass, man. I like my beer, right? Oh, boy, we're going to watch a game today. Oh, boy, I'm going to drive my truck over to, to get myself some barbecue hot wings. I'm going to sit down on that couch, and I'm going to beat up my wife tonight after the Broncos lose the Super Bowl, right? I mean, this is amazing, folks. And I've just walked in like 30 feet into the store, and then I hang a right, and there's this aisle that's full of all this ice cream. All this ice cream. And you know, this is what really saddens me because this is the part that pisses me off because when I see these little young kids, these children, they're like eight, nine years old and they're already fat and they're staring at that stuff and, 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 the, and, they're, and they want it and they want more of it and do you know what that does to a child when they're addicted to sugar? 
you, do you know what that does to their psyche when they hit about 13 or 14 and nobody picks them to be on their basketball team? And you know what happens to them when they go to high school and the girls don't talk to them? And do you know what happens to those young girls that have the same problem? Oh, I'll tell you what happens to those young girls. You see, when I went to the back of the store, they got a pharmacy! And that's where those young boys and girls, when they become teenagers, are going to be given the psychotropic depression medication because of what the ice cream section did to them. And they want to kill themselves. Because, of course, all these products I just mentioned... They, they have the Keebler Elves and the Bisco logo on them. Got the box top for education on it, folks. You see, the schools, they're taking money off the sale of this sugar shit. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The schools are actually in bed with the demonic, deviant scum in the food industry in marketing and promoting these disgusting, degenerate, dangerous, toxic foods to our children and these are the same people in the schools that teach our children that there is no God and that they're just an accident and they have no meaning in life except to get a perfect SAT score so the school can get the red ribbon or the bluebell award and the teachers can justify asking for more money for their raises and for their orthodontic plans so they can hook up antenna arrays in their own children so they can get irradiated in their own house So the oral surgeon can perform more work and milk the policy. I mean, look, and so I go to the back of the store, and it's a pharmacy, folks. And I see these old people hobbling around on their walkers. Their hair's all gray. Their skin's all shriveled up. They got these skin blotches, and, and their eyes are all yellow. And it's not because they're sick, folks. It's because they're getting sick from the medication. That's right. And so you hang a left, and you go down, and, you know, there's the snack aisle. It's got uh, Frito-Lay and, and, and uh, you know, Sun Chips and, and all this, you know, Olestra and, 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 and rapeseed oil and, and, and MSG and, oh, man. Then there's the flaming Hot Cheetos. And, you know, I see these kids that, that eat the, 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 the flaming Hot Cheetos. And their arms are swollen up, their wrists are swollen up, their cheeks are swollen up, and they got the stuff all over their face. And, you know, their mom's got the shopping cart full of all this garbage. And these kids, you know, they're stuffing their face with this disgusting crap. And, and they're addicted to it because, you know, when you put disodium guanolate or, or autolyzed yeast extract or hy hydrolyzed soy protein or monosodium glutamate or natural flavors or any one of these other compounds, folks, that are designed to be excitotoxins to addict children to their products. Let me tell you something, folks. It's an addiction that is very difficult for these children to break, okay? And so these young children begin eating this junk food and they can't stop eating it. And you know, I don't know if, if you've ever noticed this as a human being, but like if you eat a natural food that God has made, I mean, have you ever, set, have you ever been able to eat like five bananas? I mean, seriously. You have one banana and like sometimes you can't even finish it because you get full. Why is it that you could sit there and some people can eat a whole gallon of ice cream and want more? Because God put things in the food to tell you to stop eating. But these food companies, these, these demonic scumbags that run these food companies that make these products, these inventors of evil things, and that market these products to children and put chemicals in there to get them addicted, kids can't stop eating it. That's right. That's right. It's so true, folks. You know, they, they, they get these children addicted to these toxic foods, and then they end up getting, getting them drugged up. And so if all these kids are so worried about another pimple popping up on their face or how they can't fit into the clothes their mom bought them last week and how the guys aren't paying attention to the girls at school because, you know, they got this health problem because they're heavy because they can't stop eating this junk. And the guys are, you know, they're all uh, anti-socialed out because they can't look at anybody because they've been staring at video games all day that David Gates, uh, Bill, Bill Gates invented. You know, the Xbox and, the, and all these video games and stuff. I mean... What's the matter? 
What's going on, pal? Well, this is my building right here. I wanted a park right here. It's my parking spot. This, this is a public street. Well, I'm gonna. He's gonna back up your bumper. And I'm gonna back up your bumper. Okay, you know, hang on a sec. Anyway, I don't know who this guy is. Trying to tell me to move my car. I think we're about ready to have a little altercation with some creepy old man here. So let's see what's going on. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I'm talking about all these toxic food compounds, folks. And what I'm telling you is that you cannot continue to feed your children this stuff, okay? All right, I think we're going to have a, a situation on our hands where we're going to have a little disturbance with some guy over a parking space here who seems to think he owns a public street. And I don't know what his deal is, but uh, we're going to make him famous here. I don't know what his problem is. But anyway, I think we're going to change direction on this, folks, because this guy is getting kind of weird. Okay? So here he comes. Let's see what's going on here. So this guy is intentionally blocking me into a parking space no, here. No, you got plenty of room to move. Why are you doing this, pal? Because I, I need to be parked here because I got my building here. I need to move stuff in and out of my car. Right? Okay. Well, then why is he doing this to me? Because I have other, I have other, uh, I have 20 employees. They got to be parked here. You own you the can't street. Park here. You, you hey. No, I love you to park there. That's fine. Why are you making it so I can't get my car out of here? Get your car. You got 20 feet behind me. Why are, are you look? harassing yeah, me? Look. Why are you harassing me? I'm on a public street. I'm harassing you? You're harassing me. <laughs> Who? Dude, you're the one coming up to me, no, telling no, me to no, move no, my no, car. I'm just moving stuff in my car to my building. That's all. Why is he moving so? I'm so. Where he parks you? I'll tell you why. If you want to get out. I'm not going to get out because you're tripping me out, dude. All right, so, so there you go, folks. Let me move out of here just a little bit. What a bunch of creeps, man. Anyway, let's move over here to where I... Anyway, let's move over here to where I... Uh... I have a little better. People are strange. You see that guy? Who was that guy? Anyway, I don't know who that guy was, but he's not going to interrupt my. Uh, he's not going to interrupt my stream. All right, so you guys are still with me. I don't know who that guy was. But he's a weirdo. There's no reason for him to be acting that way. Anyway, so back to the issue. That's the kind of guy that uh, you see at the wine aisle or at the liquor aisle or the pill aisle, folks. And you see what he was you see what he was telling me? And you see how he was telling me? Did you look at that guy? He didn't look like he was too healthy, did he? All right, anyway. So what I'm saying is about these kids, folks, you cannot have a situation where you have children being fed this garbage. That guy was off his rocker, wasn't he? <laughs> well, hey, that's what a lot of years of eating garbage will do to you, folks. And that's my point. That's the course they got planned and plotted for our kids. It's crazy. And so you go to these grocery stores, and you cannot escape the weaponry. It's a weapons dump. And so they want everybody sucked in to all of this garbage food, all this liquor, all this booze, all this bad stuff. And in the meantime, these children are, are, are spending all this time trying to find the right angle to take a picture for their Facebook or their Instagram post. They're putting up these weapons all over the place outside. Okay? We need to be aware of what they're up to, folks. We need to be aware of what they're doing and it's early in the game right now ladies and gentlemen it's early in the game all right they have not put the antennas in they've got the wires in but they don't have the antennas in right now all right the antennas can be stopped 
the antennas can be prevented from being installed. We can take legal action. There was a court case in England where they defeated a 5G deployment. Okay? That's right. They defeated the 5G in England. We can defeat it here. We can block it here. Now, I'm not sure what city all of you live in, but you can try to get your city councils not to roll along with this stuff. In Fullerton, they ignored everything I said. You could see one of the videos I did when I explained how dangerous the millimeter wave technology is. But they didn't want to hear it, so they went ahead and voted for a boilerplate uh, ordinance to pretty much give the polls away for like 200 bucks a year, I think. I don't know what the, the number was. It was a really low number. You could do the same thing, but folks, you've got to protect your homes. You've got to protect your children. We are under attack from about 50 different directions, folks. All right? We are under attack from about 50 different directions. All right? They're putting this stuff everywhere in the cities. And you need to do your research and your homework on compounds that block this. You need to understand that if we're being attacked, we have to defend ourselves, folks. That's a fact. So while we have this time, and we have about a year or so before they totally turn this kill grid on, all of you need to do research and share the information. My email is joeimbriano777 at gmail.com. I would like you to send me all the information you can about how to block these millimeter waves and to stop the deployment of this stuff. Okay? Because we all have to collectively put our minds together and figure out a way to defeat this, folks. To defeat this. Now, one of the simple things you can do for your health is make sure you have plenty of iron in your body. And I'm not talking about the garbage they sell at the, at the, at the health food store. I'm talking about good absorbable iron from the soil that you get from green leafy vegetables and plants. You got to get good iron levels in your body because iron is a microwave absorber and this is a key component. This is a key component, ladies and gentlemen, of making sure your brain has enough magnetite. There's a compound called magnetite that's actually made by symbiotic bacteria in your body and it is an amazing compound that is in your brain. You've got to have enough raw materials for your body to work with, folks. And most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, most importantly, to defeat this, we must pray in Jesus' name to overcome all the weapons that are formed against us so that they shall not prosper, folks. This is weaponry. 5G is satanic to the core. These satanic technocrats that are behind the deployment and the invention of these systems are not going to succeed in their agenda, folks, because we're not going to let them. We need to protect ourselves. Keep this channel in your prayers. There's a lot of people out there that wish me harm. There's people out there that wish my family harm. There are people out there that are saying things about me that are not true. And there are people out there that do not want you to know what I'm trying to tell you. And you're not going to hear this information about how wicked this stuff is. You're going to hear, oh yeah, 5G, that's, it causes this. No, folks, they're going after the oxygen molecules, ladies and gentlemen. And they're going after our nervous system, all right? That is exactly what this stuff is all about. There are people in the truth movement that have infiltrated and they're operatives. They put the disinformation out there to keep people confused, all right? I know I jump around a lot. I'm sorry, folks. I know I move around a lot and I cover a lot of ground in a short period of time, but here's the deal, folks. We have to fight for what's left because our children are going to have to carry on. That's right, folks. They're going to have to carry on. They're going to have to carry on with what we leave them, ladies and gentlemen. And what that means is we got to leave this place better than when we got it. All right? You guys ever rented a vacation home on the lake somewhere? You know what happens if you leave the place in worse shape than you came? You get charged extra when you leave. 
Do you know what happens when we do that to this earth? God will hold us accountable on what we've done to our children. And you know what else happens? Our children will hold us responsible too. God bless all of you in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. We must pray for victory and for the destruction of the weaponry that is aimed at us, ladies and gentlemen. God bless you all. We will talk to you possibly tonight on the way home.